So welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telesco Learning and in this video we'll talk about one of the most important question or you cannot say most, most important question but this question is frequently asked in interview so if you're going for Java interview or if you're going for any Java related technologies maybe Android or maybe for web technologies they might ask you this question and the question is how will you know that how many objects of a class is created I mean what, what it means now so let's say you have you have a class here and let's say we have a class and the name of this class is a because I love this character a and in this in this class we have a method okay so let's say we have a method which is public void counter okay now this counter is responsible to print the number of objects created right so if I create one object of class a Okay, if I create only one object of class A, this counter should print 1. If I create two objects of class A, this counter should print 2. If I print, if I, if I, say if I, if I create 10 objects of this class A, this counter should print 10, right? Now, normally how we create objects, so we'll be having, so with this, we'll be also having a main method, right? So let's say in this, if we have a main method here, okay, and it takes some parameters, again, it is string arguments, right? And inside this main, okay, so let's say if I create one object, normally how we create object, we say simply a obj1 equal to new a. So that's one object, right? If I create one more object, so if I say a obj2 equal to new a, so if I'm creating two methods, right? So, sorry, I'm creating two objects, right? So this counter should print two. So how exactly will be doing this? So let's say if I, uh, if I create one more object, which is uh, 3 and if I say new a so in total we have three objects and now if I say obj3 dot uh, dot counter so if I if I call this method which is counter okay so that's that method. if I call this method so it should print the number of objects which are created uh, so how to do that so whenever you say we want to count so whenever you say count of course we require a variable right which will hold the all of the count so which what type of variable we will be writing here Okay, so let's let's try it out. So if I say I have a variable which is int i, okay, so I have a variable which is int i here, and this i is responsible to count. Uh, but hold on, how would your i know that you are creating the object? So let's go in this way. Every time you create an object, okay, so every time you create an object, you call one method, right? And that method is constructor, of course. So what if if you can simply create a constructor here? Will that work? If I create a constructor, but what next? So every time you create an object, it calls a constructor. What if in this constructor, I can simply say I++. So what will happen now is, every time you create an object, it will increment this value. And the default value for this I will be zero, right? So initially it will be zero. But the problem is, and then uh, not the problem, but let, let me print the value of I here. So what will happen now is, if I create the first object, okay, for this object, we'll be having a box in which we'll be having a variable which is i, and by default, the value of i will be zero, right? And then you're saying i plus plus, so it becomes one. So we got one object, that's great, right? It is counting. And then if I, if I don't create this object, if I say obj one dot counter, of course the output will be one, right? We got one object. But what if if I create the second object? It will again create a new object, and the default value for i again will be zero because this is an instance variable, right? And what is instance variable? Every instance will have a copy of it, <coughs> right? So when you say you have an instance variable, every object will have a copy of it. And when you say copy, there are two different values, right? So this object will have a different value, this will have a different value, and this will now become one again because initial value is zero, and when you're saying i plus plus, it will make it one. So you have two objects, but still the counter is one. Again, if you write this third line, it will create a new object with the value which is one again. Where it is counting, we, what we want, as the number of objects increases, so as the number of objects increases, what we want is we want it to count. But the problem is this i is instance, okay? So what, what if, we'll, let's not take inst instance variable. What if you take class variable? Well, what is class variable now? So class variable is a variable which is shared amongst the objects. 
So if one object changes the value, it will reflect on the second object. If second object changes the value, it will reflect on the third object. That means that that variable is, does not depend on objects that depend upon the class. I mean, they, they belong to class. That's what is called a class variable. And how to create a class variable? By using a keyword called as static. Now what will happen is, every time you create an object, initially the value of i will be zero, of course. So when you create the first object, the value of i will not, be, will not belong to objects now because that's not an instance variable, that's a static variable. So somewhere in your stack memory, okay, uh, method area basically, in that you will be having a variable which is i, which belongs to class now. And when you say initial value is zero, you are making i plus plus, so it becomes one. Now you're getting second object, okay, because this only loads one. So when you're getting second object, you, it will not load again because we have a variable there. So it will make just make it two because we're doing plus plus. For this object, it will make it three, right? Because it is plus plus. And then when you are calling obj any object, maybe obj three dot counter, it will print three. Even if you are printing obj one dot counter, the output will be three. Okay, so you can just try it out this example on your laptop, maybe desktop. So if you are using Eclipse, maybe it doesn't matter. This code will work everywhere. Okay, so this is this is something uh, they are majorly asking in the interviews. So you can just try it out, and next time when you go for the interviews, uh, do answer correctly. Okay, so yeah, that's it from this video. Uh, if you want some more interview questions, do comment in the comment section. You can actually submit some more questions there. Okay, if you have if you have lots of questions with you, you can just submit those questions there so that I can answer. And that's it. Do subscribe because I want more subscribers for more views. Thank you so much for watching.